Praise the Lord. Welcome to the sessions of reflections on God's gifts. Today's theme is the wisdom of God, according to Romans chapter 16, verses 27. To the only wise God, be glory forever and more through Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. As a Christian, you have a mighty resource at your disposal. The wisdom of God. Not only can the wisdom of God help you make good decisions in your life, but God's word promises that it brings joy, long life, riches, and honor. Just look at what King Solomon, who was blessed by God with abundant wisdom, wrote about wisdom in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 13 to 18. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom the one who gains understanding. For wisdom is more profitable than silver, and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. She offers you long life in her right hand, and riches and honor in her left. She will guide you down delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. There are five amazing truths about the wisdom of God that will help you every day of your life. Study them, meditate them, and then begin applying them and you will get wisdom for whatever you're facing today. Truth number one, God's wisdom is available to every believer. Romans chapter 2 verses 11 says, For God does not show favoritism. Jesus died for every one of us. Therefore, if you believe in him, you have the right to access the wisdom of God. Truth number two, you simply need to ask for the wisdom of God. James chapter 1 verses 5, If you need wisdom, Ask our generous God and He will give it to you. When you ask Him, have faith in Him alone and believe that He is going to give it to you and take it as soon as you ask for it. Declare it and do not doubt. Thank the Lord that you received it and have it for His glory. Truth number three, God's word is full of His wisdom. Proverbs chapter two, verse six. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Read Holy Bible. God's word is full of wisdom. You can learn how Israelites and apostles and early church members interacted with God. You can study about Jesus' ministry, Paul's journey, Moses' leadership, Solomon's wisdom. God's word is full of insights and advice that you can directly apply to your life and the situation you face every day like how to face adversity with faith how to handle difficult people how to manage your finances and so on truth number four the wisdom of god and the world's wisdom are not the same proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 says fear of the lord is the foundation of the true knowledge acknowledging and honoring the lord is the start of true wisdom. One chooses not to fear God. Its wisdom is limited to man's thinking. It will tell you immediate happiness is the most important goal in your life and do whatever makes you happy. God wants you to understand his ways and thoughts so you can apply his wisdom to your life. His wisdom is higher than worlds. Family and friends and co-workers may look at you sideways but trust God's way is the best. Truth number five, the enemy will try to distract you from the wisdom of God. 1 Peter 5 8 says, stay alert, watch out for your great enemy the devil. He will pull around like a roaring lion looking for someone to catch. Devil will do his best to confuse you about following God's wisdom by reminding you of past mistakes or temptation. Therefore, it is necessary to get quiet before the Lord by spending time in the Bible study and prayer. 
When devil comes to you to distract or tempt, use the word of God to combat him. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are blessing you from the house of the Lord. May you understand God's wisdom and its values. May you seek God's wisdom. May you have an opportunity to ask, receive and learn. May you apply God's wisdom in your life. May you use it successfully against enemies, temptation and attacks. May you find joy, peace, happiness with God's wisdom. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am Ren Raku from Kaddish Mariam Ministries. Thank you.